Have you ever wondered what it's like to work at a Taylor Swift concert? Well, today I'm speaking with a Swifty who failed to get tickets and decided to start working as an usher at the Eras Tour. So let's find out what working at a Taylor Swift concert was really like. How did you get the job and why did you apply? Well, a friend actually called me like a week before and asked me if I would like to go with her and work as an usher at the Eras Tour concert. Um, she said it would be for a charity and then we would work for free and then the money would go to charity. And I was just grateful to even get to go. Um, and when I got the opportunity, I didn't know if I'd be an usher or working in the kitchen or where I'd be working. But I felt like if I could just get in the stadium, <laughs> then I would just be so excited and thankful. So did you try and get tickets before applying for this job? I did, but I wasn't able to. Yeah, because <laughs> you had to have like a like a code to even attempt to get tickets. And then I had tried a couple times, my friends were reselling tickets. And since I knew they weren't scammers, I tried to get them, but it was like, they're like, I'm so sorry. I just promised them to someone like two seconds ago. So I had missed like a couple shots. So I did not think there was any chance I was going to see this concert. And, um, and so when she called me and asked me to get to come, I was just, Lord, I was so excited. Was it, was working for the era tour as good as it sounded? It was, <laughs> not to be dramatic, but it was one of the best nights of my life because once you see people, you've done your job, they don't need, as an usher, they don't really need you for anything else most of the time. And so like, once I got everyone to their seats and then I just sat, I stood and watched the concert. So, I mean, it was literally like, I just got to watch the concert for free. What were some other perks of working at a Taylor Swift concert. One cool thing was getting to get into the stadium early. So everyone else is in line for like miles and miles down the road, it feels like. Um, and we just got to go in early. Um, I did not end up getting any merch, but like technically I think I probably could have purchased merch just because the people working the merch table were already there and I was already there. And at least in our area, merch was selling out very fast and people were you know, waiting in line for forever. And so I was thinking when I got there, I'm like, oh, I could probably totally go get merch. <laughs> but I was so focused on staying in my, in my spot. <laughs> Did you get to get, you didn't go to any like backstage, like you weren't allowed any of that? No, I've heard that you can get like your security access if you just do one more step. I think it's an online situation and then you're more likely to get like floor access and other access. So I may do that one day in the future. Were you worried that while you were working and you were trying to enjoy it at the same time the show, were you still aware of like everything around you and still feeling like you couldn't enjoy it as much if you were just a fan who was going there to buy tickets? Honestly, not at all. <laughs> I was dancing like it was the last day on earth for me. I, I was just, I was having the time of my life and really no one needed me. Like someone would come up every once in a while and be like, am I allowed to stand here? I'm getting dizzy. Like, you know, up so high, like some of the parents and stuff. And so I'd say, oh yeah, you can stand here with me. And Are there any rules that you have for working at a Taylor Swift concert? It was mostly just no phones. There really wasn't, there really wasn't a lot of rules. She just said, you know, stand here and look at people's tickets and just kind of direct them to their seats. So it was really fun when people walked in, um, you know, everyone dresses up at a Taylor Swift concert. So just getting to see everyone's outfits and stuff and complimenting their outfit. Oh, I love your outfit. It was a lot of fun being an usher. Amazing. Do you think you got paid fairly for the job that you did? Well, in my case, um, you could have worked the job um, and it was definitely fair pay if you worked. I was doing it for a charity, so the money went to charity. So for all the European shows coming up there for Taylor Swift, would you recommend other Swifties to, if they can't get any tickets, to apply to work at the Eras Tour? Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, definitely. It was one of the best experiences. I had a great spot stand, especially if you can't get tickets, then you have nothing to lose. And it, and I felt like as a Swifty, um, that even just getting to be there would be amazing. Just hear the concert and see everyone's outfits and stuff just to not miss out on the experience. Um, but there's a good chance that you could be an usher and it is totally worth it if you get to be an usher. So were all your other colleagues doing the same as you? Were they all like low-key Swifties as well? <laughs> Yes, they were. And so we were just fangirling all the way there and all the way back. And we were just reeling that we got to be at the concert because none of us thought we were going to get to go. And it made it so much fun to get to do that with friends. And we made friends. That was another thing. We still made friendship bracelets. And I knew we'd have a uniform outfit on because you had to wear black pants. And then 
um, their company shirt. Um, but I was like, I want people to know I'm a Swifty, so I need to low-key like do my makeup and hair where people know I'm an incognito Swifty. Do you know anyone that you're working with who wanted, who was working there, but wasn't an usher and had to work where they couldn't see the concert? Yes, um, there was a really nice guy and girl. I didn't know them before, but they would come out on breaks and they would come stand with me and they got really into it too. Um, so it was really cool to stand with them. I hate they didn't get to see more of it, um, but they were really cool. And pretty much everyone that worked inside that was a Swifty, when it was on breaks, they would come out and watch. Or like if it was a dead time, because certain songs, you know, people are not leaving during certain songs. So they would let them like sub out to stand and watch part of the concert. Do you, do you think in the future this is going to change the way that you get tickets in the future? For example, are you going to think about how you could maybe work there rather than be a fan or, and buy tickets? Or are you just going to always go for the buying tickets route first and then result to maybe working there if you really want to go? Honestly, I would totally just work again because I don't, I just feel like there wasn't, for me personally, I'm not sitting at a concert anyways, so it wouldn't really change anything for me to have been sitting during the concert. And so I definitely think, and especially if you're actually working, um, I forget how much you make an hour, but let's say it's even 15 bucks an hour, that pays for your gas or merch or whatever, and then you're still watching the concert. So um, I guess you'd have to be careful just because there's a chance you could get put somewhere where you can't see, but if you're willing to risk it or you can't get tickets otherwise, it's definitely worth a gamble.